Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, me Peruski, for beer review number twenty-three. Today, I have for you from Hop City Brewing Company. This is your lawn chair Weiss Vice? So, lawn chair on a nice aquamarine kind of colored can. So, coming in at five percent ABV and a whopping nine IBUs. This should be a very crisp, clean, easy drinking beer. Let's dive right into it. Rouge River Tulip style. Let's do a pour. Right. So, pretty, uh, pretty yellowy. Definitely for sure. Hazy, hazy yellow. Can kind of see through it, not too much. Let's have a sniff and have a sip. Yeasty, yeasty for sure. A lot of yeast in there. A little bit of, I want to say lemon. Yeah, lemon, maybe coriander ish. It smells pretty, uh, pretty nice. A little bit of little toasted malts. A little bit of spice too in there as well. Maybe a little bit of white pepper. I don't know. All right, let's have a sip and we'll cheers. That goes down exceptionally smooth. That has no bitterness at all. That nine nine use extremely low, super super low. Mmm, real flavorful, really yeasty. Like that white breadiness I'm getting from it for sure. Uh, let's continue sipping and grab more flavors. Coriander, a little bit of lemon, I want to say. Maybe just a hint of some, like a light, light smoke, I don't know. And spices, like slight, slight, very slight spices to it. So, let's dive right into their website, hopcity.com. And for lawn, blah, 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 lawn chair. <coughs> and so, let's read what they have to say on the can. Cloudy with a chance of banana and clove. A true Bavarian style, Hefeweizen, with a crisp, refreshing finish. So, that's kind of cool. There's, those are the spices. Clove. Clove would be a spice, right? I think so. It's also a seasonal uh, beer. It's one of their limited releases, which is pretty cool. They got a little hop. I'm not pretty sure. So, banana. Hmm, am I getting banana from it? Not really getting banana from it personally. I'm not kind of sure what kind of banana they're, they're they were putting in there, or like what the flavor should taste like. I can't really get it, but that's just me. So let's look over to the website, hopcity.com. And for lawn chair, they say the exact same thing. Oh, slightly different. Cloudy with a chance of banana and clove, with a light golden color and naturally hazy appearance. Lawn chair is a well balanced pi picnic. Of exotic spice notes with a refreshing finish. Style is a Weiss beer or Weiss beer, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. ABV 5% and 9 IBUs. Color is golden slash hazy. It's available in the summertime and the hops are Magnum hops. Malts are two, uh, bleh, pale two row car, Karastan, malted wheat, and torrified wheat. Award notes. This beer has won the 2010 Ontario Brewing Awards Gold, which is pretty fucking amazing because there's a lot of beer, uh, a lot of breweries out in Ontario. I'm not sure how many there were back in 2010, but here in 2017, there are a ton. So that definitely shows something for the beer. 
over here looking at Beer Advocate, Lawn Chair Classic Weiss or Vice has a BA score of 80, which is good in their opinion. That's, that's a solid A minus on the uh, good old grading system. And a review here. Here's one. It says they received this beer on tap. Tapped a pale, lightly colored golden with a smallish cap that didn't last long. Big bubbles, artificially carbonation, looks poor for the style standard. Aroma was light biscuit, some barley, detectable fruits, and mustiness. Thin body, thin on the palate. For I guess the mouthfeel. And taste biscuity, some twiggy hops, and no spice or banana to speak of. Thin, clear, clean, lightly dry finish. This person says it's also a weak representation of the style. They gave it a 3.05 out of 5. So, I've had uh, Muskoka's Summer Vice. Mm. I don't want to say this is similar in style, like the style of beer, the vice kind of thing. And you know, the Muskoka one had a lot more uh, punch to it, you know, it had a bigger, bolder flavor kind of thing. And this, it has really good flavor for sure, and I like that they didn't go with, or at least make it a very strong beer to drink. It's something that any beer drinker from the novice to the most, I get for more of a seasoned beer drinking vet can, uh, can go out, grab, and still enjoy. Personally, I do enjoy it quite a bit. I think it's damn tasty. You know, it's got all the about, it's got all the flavors that you want in a vice, with the yeast, the spiciness, the uh, the light smokiness that I'm getting. I think that's what they're calling the mustiness of it. It smells good. It smells inviting. The taste is there. It's a bit. It's not bold. It's like light bold. You know, where it's, uh, in, the, in the flavor department. You know, you, you can taste them and you can get them, but they're not punching in the face. They're not punching in the taste buds, which is nice. It's a very uh, enjoyable beer to have um, on a nice summer's day for sure, which is when they release it. Is in the summertime. There wasn't much of a head on it, and there's not much lacing, barely any on the glass, which is fine, you know, it's not a style to leave lacing on a glass, I'm pretty sure. But the flavor is there, the flavor and the color of everything is there, I'm not in focus. That's pissing me off. That's okay, what can you do? Am I in there? I don't know. Who knows, you know, cameras, sometimes you just don't work the way you want them to. But that's life, right? That's damn good. It gets a bit fruity in the uh, when it warms up a bit in the tail end. I think that's what they're calling the uh, the banana. I'm not getting banana out of it. I'm getting like a, like just like a deep, deep sweet fruit. Out of it as well, the smokiness kind of lingers away. And so does the spice. It's more just like a fruity, not fruity isn't like sweet, but like a deep, deep fruit. Maybe, 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 maybe that's why the banana is in there. You know what? Bananas aren't super sweet. They got some flavor to them, but I don't know. That's just what I'm tasting. So with this last sip, let's cheers. Cheers. Now, um... Things that would dock marks off it for is that you know I can't really find any uh, vices. They're just not really my style of beer. I, I do enjoy them, but I'm not uh, you know super excited when oh they got a new vice out there. Blah blah blah. You know I'm not gonna rush out and buy it. I bought it because I hadn't have it. I had it. Blah, 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 blah. Haven't had it before, and uh, I like trying new things. You know I like trying new to me at least. So with that, like, there's nothing really that stands out to me on it. It's, just, it's fairly good. <laughs> I like how it's not super, uh, super bold in the flavor department. That anybody can go out and grab one. So, 
with that all said and done, I gotta give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. You know what, it's nothing special, it's nothing crazy, but it's still damn enjoyable for beer drinkers alike. So, with that said, that'll do it for me, Maple Ruski, and like I always say, grab a beer and enjoy. Cheers. <laughs>